Welcome back. I'm still in conversation with Mr. Prasenjit Bhattacharya. Uh, Prasenjit, you are from Assam. You studied at a cotton college. You went to TIS where you did your master's in personal management. You're basically a personal management specialist. You worked in several companies in HR, senior positions. And now you are heading Great Workplace to India. By the way, you are one of the founders now, actually, of Great, work, great Place, place to, work. to Work in India. You, you did that a couple of years ago 2003 2007. actually oh, 2003. 2003 we got the brand to come to india right. and 2007 we set it up as a separate company separate company you are an independent company. my question to you is slightly different uh, assam for example northeast india we always said that oh it is economically underdeveloped the big companies never go there for investment uh, there are lots of fly by night operators and we cannot wait indefinitely for big companies to come and open shop whether it is in manufacturing, whether it is in other sectors. Uh, now, in order to attract whatever little companies we have, domestic, local and otherwise, uh, is there a formula which can be sort of, is there a magic uh, kind of a solution to this? How to attract investors, how to attract good companies to go to a difficult quote unquote place like Northeast India? What we have learned was Veer, is that nothing works better than creating role models and success stories. Let me give you an example. Uh, when we went to Sri Lanka, and at that time Sri Lanka was just coming out of the conflict, and uh, I met the Ceylon Chamber of Commerce, and we had a discussion, and uh, they were talking about what is most important for a country like Sri Lanka, which has lost one decade because of yeah. the ethnic conflict, and they said the most important thing for us is to get Sri Lankans who have migrated outside Sri Lanka, talented people to actually come back to this country and work for the economy in that particular country. So they said our priority is we need to brand Sri Lanka as a great place to work. So therefore the entire work that we do in Sri Lanka mm. is in partnership. It's not just a company, but it the, is a country the and a branding, the country. branding the country. So I am now using the analogy for Assam. So a few years... Brand Assam as a great place to work. Exactly. In a few years back, uh, government of Gujarat, uh, even though we have not started anything, they came and said, can we do something like this? Now, Prasenjit, we will have a new government in Assam in less than two weeks time. Whichever government. Now, will you be prepared as one of the most successful uh, CEOs from Assam to do something like branding the state, branding Assam as a good workplace. Will you like to contribute with the government, whichever government comes to power, if they approach you or what, vice versa? Yeah, so therefore the way we would work would normally be uh, as a research and consulting firm uh, in a manner which is uh, independent of whichever government is in exactly, power at exactly. that point in time. That is the material. So now... But uh, somebody, the gov that particular government has to take the initiative. That's right. That's right. So therefore, uh, you know, the way it has worked with another state government, for example, when, when they were proposing to us, is that they were uh, nominating a nodal agency. You know, let us say the Industrial Development Corporation yeah. or, or the university as a nodal agency who can collaborate with great place to work because ultimately at the end of the day this is not about public relations it is about real research by the way there are at least three companies which are uh, which have uh, manufacturing facilities in assam who are already doing assessment with us and one of them whirlpool for example you would be aware has featured as one of the top 100 best companies to work for and we have been doing surveys in Assamese with the operators in the factories of Whirlpool in Assam because our surveys translated in 18 different languages. Yeah. So the first thing is to launch a study called the best companies to work for in Assam. And okay. even if we get 25 organizations to participate and we recognize the top 10 of, them, of those organizations, you are creating a buzz. You are saying that it's not just about generating employment, it is creating great workplaces and great organizations. And suddenly you will find that people will start looking at Assam as a, a, you know, a relevant place for you to go and do business and get good quality talent. So we'll, I think that's, it's a multifaceted approach. 
but one of the things that definitely so so so, so the moral of the story the what you were basically saying is that branding a region like the northeast or a state like assam is the need of the hour that can that can that can change perceptions that can change things yes and and the reality is that uh, the only way to grow the economy is to get really good quality skilled people to either stay back and not migrate out of the state and if required get people from outside the state and outside the country but, to but, come but but that's true but that will require livelihood options you have to give them the option to work there should be jobs that's, available that's correct and i think to the the way to do that of course as i said is multifaceted while the government will have their own policies highlight success stories already there somewhere in the corner bring it and tell the people of assam or the people of india and assam can be a great rock on that note prasanjit pachaga thank you very much for being on my show thank pleasure. you thank you so much wasbir my pleasure